carrots and lettuce and just gobs of beans. Every one of those flowers is a bean plus all the beans and then we got kale and broccoli. But over here we have a craftsman. I love the fat old back tires, man. They are 20 by 10 by 8s. I did sit down and read the owner's manual and kind of figure out what everything does and does. It's nice that all the electrical is original. Man, just unplugged it. This engine came out. Easy breezy. Four bolts. A little bit of wiring. Throttle cable. Done. Muffler's good. Not rotten. A little surface rust on it, but it's in pretty good shape. This thing's not rotten. Fuel tank is clean. Clean. Love it. I think I got ripped off on this thing. Oh, I did. Actually, I did get ripped off. It didn't come with a key. So yeah, I could go to Home Depot and uh, buy a key. I think they're nine or ten bucks for one of these little universal keys. But I made my own. Out of a just a piece of galvanized metal I had sitting around. Little hand file. Yeah. I know. I know. Works like a charm. <laughs> Eleven minutes with a hand file. And 10 snips. Uh, not 10 snips, but the shears. And it works. Let's go inside and take a look at the engine. I'm, I'm just amazed. But let's go inside and look at the engine. Here's my buddy. There's my buddy. Oh, wait. Over here. So, lucky I had enough room on my bench here to rip things apart. And, yeah, I think I showed you this already. There's some mud in the pan. But that's all right. It's got a few little chunks in the bottom, but everything about this base pan for the engine block looks perfect. I think it'll clean up quite nicely. I guess the good thing is, is that it failed and it just stopped. He thinks that his kid overfilled the crankcase with oil. That's what the guy was telling me. There's really no reason for him to make up any stories about that. but. Um, the good thing is that it just it just stopped and it didn't create any damage there's a little bit of scuffing I don't know if you can see it extremely light um, I run my fingernail across there and it's it's that may just be normal wear. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm not going to hone the cylinder. I'm not doing anything with that. I'm just going to put it back together and see where we go. There's the crank. Let me see if I can get that journal up. Hold on here. I can't really get the light to balance real well, but there's the crank. I'm going to polish that. Oops. So the surface of the head looks fantastic. I put a straight edge on there. Not that I was really expecting to find any warpage, but there's no discoloration. There was no um, carbon or anything blowing past the head gasket. Head gasket was still making a great seal. I rolled the push rods on a piece of glass and they're not bent, which makes me extremely excited about that. Everything in here, everything in here looks good. There's nothing broken on the inside of the case. I don't know how this Conrad destroyed and didn't take anything else out with it. The crank spins freely. It has no end play. The rotating assembly. It's amazing. The cylinder head looks fantastic. Good light on it. The light in here is kind of weird. Exhaust valve's nice and tan. The intake valve's got a little black on it, which is okay. But the head's in good shape. Oil pump, cam and gear. My little cam and timing gear, pretty freaking decent. But here's our here's our money shot right here. And I found all the pieces, the main components of our failure. I'm no expert, but something tells me a Conrad should not look like that. Piston's in good shape. Standard bore, never been into. I figure I'd get the TIG welder out. 
We'll probably get that to back together, right? Man, it just good grenaded. It's crazy. But I have all the pieces. The skirt for the pistons not busted off. I'm gonna clean all this up really good. Yeah, so that's that. So I'm gonna go on the interwebs and pick up a new Conrod. Uh, there's a guy on Amazon's got new ones. Uh, I'm gonna do a little more searching tonight, but I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get these parts ordered and get this thing sorted out, so I can tell if I'm gonna keep it. If I can figure out if I'm gonna keep it or sell it. But if that's all I have to deal with. And a couple cans of a uh, couple cans of squirty squirty cleany cleany stuff. Hell yeah! I'll let you guys know how we do. See y'all.